we're asked to simplify the following expressions and assume that any variables are not equal to zero. The first expression is y to the third divided by y to the fifth. So because the bases are the same and we're dividing, we can simplify this using the quotient property of exponent shown here. But before we do this, let's simplify this by expanding y to the third and y to the fifth. Because we have y to the third in the numerator, we have three factors of y in the numerator. And because we have y to the fifth in the denominator, we have five factors of y in the denominator. From here, we know that y divided by y is equal to one, so y over y here simplifies to one, as well as here and here. Notice now we have a numerator of one and a denominator of y times y, which means the expression simplifies to one over y squared. Remember, when simplifying expressions, we do want to use only positive exponents, and therefore this is the simplified form of y to the third divided by y to the fifth. Let's simplify this again now using the quotient property of exponents shown here, where a to the m divided by a to the n is equal to a raised to the power of m minus n. So when the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents, and notice how it's always the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator, which means y to the third divided by y to the fifth is equal to y raised to the power of three minus five. And three minus five is equal to negative two, so this simplifies to y raised to the power of negative two. But we want to express this only using positive exponents, so now we'll have to apply the negative exponent property shown here, where a raised to the power of negative m equals one over a raised to the power of positive m. To help remember this rule, it can be helpful to write a to the power of negative m as a fraction with the denominator of one, and then if we move a to the negative m down to the denominator, it changes the sign of the exponent. So if we write y raised to the power of negative two as a fraction, the denominator would be one, and if we move y to the negative two down to the denominator, this will give us one over y raised to the power of positive two, which again is a simplified form of the given expression. But of course, once the exponents get rather large, we'll be applying the quotient property of exponents rather than expanding the numerator and denominator. For example, for the next expression, we have x to the twelfth divided by x to the twenty-ninth. We'll begin by applying the quotient property of exponents. So this is going to be x raised to the power of twelve minus twenty-nine, which equals x raised to the power of twelve minus twenty-nine is equal to negative seventeen. Again, we can't leave it in this form because we need to express this using a positive exponent. So let's write this as a fraction with the denominator of one. If we move x to the negative seventeen down to the denominator, this would give us one over x raised to the power of positive seventeen, which is a simplified form of the given expression. Let's look at one more example. Here we have fifteen a to the fifth b to the seventh divided by three a to the ninth b to the sixth. We can almost think of this as three separate problems where we have fifteen divided by three, a to the fifth divided by a to the ninth, and b to the seventh divided by b to the sixth. So fifteen divided by three is equal to five, and then a to the fifth divided by a to the ninth is equal to a raised to the power of five minus nine, and then b to the seventh divided by b to the sixth is equal to b raised to the power of seven minus six. Simplifying, we have five, a raised to the power of five minus nine is negative four, b raised to the power of seven minus six, which is one. And we can't leave it in this form because we have a raised to the power of negative four. We need to express this using only positive exponents. So let's go ahead and write this as a fraction with the denominator of one. The only exponent that is negative is the exponent on a. So we'll move a to the negative four down to the denominator. The five and b to the first remain in the numerator. So this is equal to five and b to the first is just b, so let's write five b over a raised to the power of positive four. This is a simplified form of the given expression. I hope you found this helpful.